Hi everyone, welcome back, or welcome if you are new. Today we are on part seven of my Harry Potter room makeover. And in today's video, we are gonna be transforming my closet back there into a reading nook. So before we get started, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a part of my magical friends. Let's go ahead and get into the video. <laughs> All right, yes, we are going to be transforming that closet behind me into a reading nook. The goal is just to make it as comfy and cozy as possible with a little bit of sprinkle of magic. <laughs> but we have to go ahead and head to our local hardware store, Lowe's, to start this DIY. We are going to be doing this completely ourselves, so just me and my husband are gonna try to accomplish putting that together. I just hope we do everything properly and it is sturdy enough to hold us. But what we're trying to do is make it so it has a nice bench on the top and then it's hollow inside. So whether or not we're making it more like a floating shelf kind of that you sit on, <laughs> like a floating bench, or it might have some legs to it as well to make it a little extra sturdy. But we definitely wanna keep it like hollow inside just so we have extra space for storage. So the next thing we need to do is go ahead and head to our local hardware store. We have a Lowe's near us and pick up some supplies. Mainly the wood is what we're gonna need to get that <laughs> bench accomplished. And then we can go ahead and get started and I'll definitely bring you guys along with the process but before I head out to Lowe's I want to show you a little magical item that I got delivered to me first let me talk about the packaging I already opened it up but I had to keep this packaging to the side because look how beautiful this is I was like what can this be it has a beautiful wax seal a bunch of postage and then on the back side it also had another wax seal it's just so cute I love this little like owl post looking magical parcel <laughs> but what was inside the package was it's a really big item so i'm probably gonna have to like get up to properly show you but let me make sure i have a few seen up right but here it is i don't know how much you can see i'm gonna have to really properly show you but here is a unicorn and here is a lady it's the lady and unicorn tapestry that you would find in the Gryffindor common room. There's Bella exploring. <laughs> and I'm not quite sure what this material is. It's a very thin material. It's soft, lightweight. It's gonna be great for the wall, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna put it on that wall behind me here, because like I was saying in the previous video, we do have a lot of electrical work behind there, so I'm not quite sure exactly what I want to do. We were normally going to be putting like some large floating shelves back there, but now that that is an issue, we are still kind of at the drawing board of what to do. So when this eBay shop reached out to me saying they wanted to kindly give this to me, I was like, this would be a great option. So I'd love to see it on the wall and see if I really like it up there. So we'll definitely be putting that on the wall just to kind of get the feel for it. If not, I will definitely try to find another place for it because I think it's so pretty. Maybe it'll go in the reading nook even. We'll see. But this is such a great addition to kind of making this room feel like the Gryffindor common room. So I'm so excited about it and seeing how it brings the whole room together. But yeah, I have the Gryffindor tapestry. <laughs> But now let's go ahead and head out to Lowe's and pick up all of our supplies. And also before we head out, I needed to show you how cute this is. My dog, Little Miss Bellatrix here, has claimed her spot and it's just so fitting because it's on the black family little tapestry that I put on that bench last week. And it's just so cute because I named her after Bellatrix. We do call her Bella for short a lot, but it's just so cute. She loves it. She loves just sitting here and looking out the window. She's adorable. Ben, oh, he's a pretty girl. You love that spot? Yeah, is that your spot now? <laughs> All right, here is a before of the closet. So we have it pretty much emptied out, but now it's been a little bit of a storage space up there on that wire rack, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull everything out. All right, so now everything is cleared out of the closet. We are ready to get started on the reading nook. All 
right, my camera died. I don't know how much I got of us putting this in, but I'll just show you exactly what's done so far. So we added these two here. They're gonna be the main support of this floating bench, I guess is what we'll call it. And we've got these here. There's three, and those are exactly where our studs are. So we marked them here, and that's what's going to have the strength to support anyone that's sitting on here. And then for this front beam, we've got one here and also one on the opposite side as well. So this is definitely strong enough to, for me to sit on. I put all my weight on it so we know that it is very secure and they're definitely into the studs. So this is what it looks like. And like I said, it's gonna be a floating bench. So all underneath here, I'll be able to store some things and keep this as storage. I'll just be putting bins so it looks nice and neat. But yeah, I'm really loving it and we still need to remove that. I didn't remove that yet. <laughs> Alright, so now we have the top piece screwed in and now what's left is to make it pretty. So I need to get a cushion, I'm gonna paint, and then we did remove the wire rack as well. So we just need to add a new shelf in and it's really coming together, but that's all we're gonna be doing today, Sunday, and then I'll pick up another day this week. But that's where we're at so far. All right, so it is the next weekend and we did take off that wire rack shelving that was inside the closet and it did leave a lot of holes. So I went to my local hardware store and picked up some of this to fill in all the holes. It does go on pink, but it dries white and then we will sand it and then paint over that. And if you can't tell, this is still like the original gray and then this is the color that we ended up painting the entire room. So I never painted the closet because I wasn't sure which way I wanted to go with. I might be painting all of it white, but I'm still deciding. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get started and filling in all of the holes first. All right, I'm actually sitting on my little bench in here, but here is this. It's very pink and soft. And we're gonna go ahead and fill in these holes that are behind me. You can see what I'm doing. I just kind of took a small amount and I'm kind of winging it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and fill it in. Okay, now you're making a mess. Do this one here. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the holes because they're like all the way down the rest of this closet. And then I will show you once it dries and we'll start painting, sanding and painting. <laughs> all right, so while all of this is drying, we've got a lot of it down there. <laughs> um, I wanted to show you what we filled in on the bench. So I didn't like that there was a gap here. So we went ahead and added another like support beam against this wall and then we added another piece of wood here so that way it fits all the way snug against the wall like that so I'll be painting this white and then I'm gonna be putting a white little board in front of here so it just looks a little cleaner and I'll show you what that looks like so this is the little board that we got to put in front of the bench just to make it a lot more cleaner and then my husband went ahead and measured it and then he cut it to fit perfectly in front but I'm going to paint it I'm gonna sand it paint it and then I'll be nailing this to the front and we'll be that much closer to finishing this reading nook so let's go ahead and get to sanding and painting <laughs> all right so I have some leftover white paint for my ceiling and I'm just gonna use that because I don't really know the difference of <laughs> if it's okay to put on this or not but I'm gonna go ahead and use my old paint because I don't want to go back to the store and buy more and I also got a drop cloth as well so that way my floors are protected and I got this little thing to sand everything down with just kind of lightly nothing too rough but let's go ahead and prep for painting. All right, so it is sanded down. I even used this to kind of like brush away all of the little sawdust and stuff. So now it is prepped and ready for paint. And I have my ceiling white paint. I hope this is fine to use. It's paint and primer, and it's just a dead flat 
white finish. So I think it's fine. I think it's just like marketed as ceiling pink, but I think it'll be just fine <laughs> because mostly I'm just kind of painting it white to kind of make it look a little more cohesive in that corner. All right, so I am mixing up the paint right now. It has been sitting for a while and then I'll be getting started. All right, that looks good. Got my little tray here. I can't really see everything. And I've got the paint. And then I just have a brush. I have a roller, but my tray is not big enough for the roller. So I'm gonna see if I can just paint the bench with the brush and hope I don't hate my leg too much. All right, I feel like I haven't like checked in in a little bit but I started painting the wall along with the bench. So the bench is completely painted. This is gonna have the thing in front of it, so don't worry about that. But all underneath here is all painted now, and then the whole left side is painted. So now I need to finish the rest of this. Then I'll put on the front piece, and it's gonna look so much more complete and put together. I'm super excited. Oh, and I also did like the trimming on the inside here. So that's where we're at right now with all the painting. So let me continue to do the wall and then we'll add on the front piece. <laughs> All right, so the first coat is officially on. I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat and then this will be finished. Yeah, I'm so excited. All right, the second coat is now complete and we are ready to add on this front piece. Looks like I got a little dirty, but that's okay. I will wash it afterwards. All right, now I'm ready to go ahead and nail this in to the front here. eraser to get some smudges off and it took the color off so let's just make it all look good. all right I'm officially done painting I did two coats of the paint I think it looks really good and I'm really happy with how everything is looking right now I just can't wait to start decorating but I'm gonna have to wait until all of this dries and it already is pretty late today, so I don't know if I'll finish either later tonight or tomorrow morning. But that's it for right now, and I'll catch up with you soon. All right, so Bella has joined us in the Harry Potter room. This is still drying, but I did want to start taking the wheels off of this little storage unit that I have next to me because I measured it and it won't fit with the wheels on, but I think it will fit nice and snug under here and it keeps a lot of my craft supplies in it. <laughs> I don't know how I'm talking to you and Bella's taking over. <laughs> but like I was saying, <laughs> the um, little unit over here has a lot of my craft supplies in it and that will go right in this little corner. And then I got two little storage bins that I'll show you that I'm gonna put next to that. And then a basket full of like all of my blankets and things to kind of keep this little nook area super cozy. And then after that, I'll be putting up that tapestry that I showed you in the beginning of this video. And that's gonna go up on the walls for now. I think that's gonna look really cute in here. And then I'm just gonna be waiting for the cushion because that is gonna take a little bit because it is a custom size that I ordered off of Amazon. But for now, I'll put a bunch of like blankets down to try to make it as comfortable as possible until we get the cushion in. And like I was saying, I'm gonna be putting the tapestry up there, but I think long-term, I probably want to put up some wallpaper. I really wanna get a Mina Lima wallpaper and put it on there. I just need to look into it a little more just because what I saw on the website, it says it applies best to very smooth surfaces and my walls have a lot of texture to them. So if any of you have used the Mina Lima wallpaper before and you have textured walls as well, let me know if it worked out for you or not in the comments below. I would really appreciate your feedback because it's just pretty pricey to invest in something that I'm just not sure would work in my space. But for now, I think the tapestry is gonna look really cute in there. But yeah, let me show you this little storage. Here is the storage unit. 
This has nothing to do with it. <laughs> it's been like a table. I have it on its side, but those are the wheels and I already took one off if you can see that here and I'm just gonna take the rest of them off and then it will fit perfectly snug underneath the nook. All right, all four wheels are off. I do need to wipe it down a little bit. It's gotten a little dirty and then I'm going to try to carefully pick this up because there's still a lot of stuff in these drawers and I'm going to be putting it under the nook. So these are the storage bins that I got from Amazon. There's two of them here. I'm hoping I can stack them on top of each other, but I liked the taupey color. Kind of matches the walls of the rest of the room. And I like that it has a handle here and here, which is nice. But I figured I could store more things this way. Hi, Beth. I love it. Okay, so now I just need to get the basket that I'll put all of my blankets and things in. All right, so that's kind of how I'm going to set it up for right now. I do need to put the tapestry up next, so let me do that, and I think it's gonna pull this whole area together, but it looks so cute under there. I'm so excited. Ah. And I'm gonna tape it first up just to make sure I get the placement right. And then I'm gonna use these tiny little tack kind of nails to secure it in place. <laughs> All right, now that I like the positioning with the masking tape, I'm gonna go ahead and add these little nails and then we'll have it all secured in place. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I am so excited. It looks so good in there. Okay, let's rearrange the blankets. All right, so I have it all decorated now and I'm so happy with how it turned out. There are a few other little bits that I wanna to add to it, but for now it is complete and it's so beautiful. So I want to add a little shelving in the little nook area, but I don't have those yet. So those will be later on. And then the cushion that I custom ordered that I'm waiting for as well. But let me go ahead and give you an overview of how the reading nook turned out. So we have the tapestry that you would find in the Gryffindor common room. The Lady in the Unicorn. On the bench, I have two Hogwarts crest looking pillows that I got at Pottery Barn Teen around Christmas time on clearance. And then I have a little Hedwig pillow as well that I got from Target. And then I just have a cream little blanket on top. And then beneath that is going to be my storage area. So we've got some bins, we've got this little pull out drawer system, and then I have a basket for all of my extra like pillows and blankets, which is gonna be really nice. And I love that I have these two storage bins that have lids and it looks hidden so I can put like extra boxes from products in there and I'm just so happy with how it looks. And one thing you might notice is this little gap right here but the cushion that I ordered should be two inches tall so I believe it's going to cover that up just fine and I think that's really going to complete the look so I'll definitely update you guys once that arrives. Here is the other angle of this little closet reading nook. So in this little nook of the nook <laughs> I want to put some shelving up there and I'm going to put some books on there so that way it's like easy to get to whatever my next read is and it's just a nice little place to store some things. I'll probably have books on there that are not Harry Potter related and ones that I'm like actively reading on those shelves that will be in there in the future. <laughs> All right, there we have it. We have completely transformed my old closet into my Harry Potter reading nook. Now, let me go ahead and take a seat on the reading nook and show you it in action. <laughs> it is so cute and cozy. I am obsessed. I feel like I'm gonna be in here all the time and I love the view from here. So like when I just look out, I can see my entire collection and my Harry Potter room, my brick wall. It's just so beautiful. I know I still need to do this wall you can see some painters tape and I've got a couple other projects to do even in here I want to do some more projects 
But for now, this is checked off my list and I am so happy about it. But definitely let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts were on this transformation. I know I'm personally super happy with it. But as always, if you liked today's video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notification so you're notified during my next video upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!